Welcome. I just did a test installation on Linux D, and um, we have now this this black screen. So how do you test a new built ISO? And um, well, I'm gonna test it by not installing another XFC. I'm a bit tired of that. So I went to look up uh, to look uh, on the wiki Arch Linux. What desktop environments do we have on Arch? And there are still a few we need to do, and it's, there's just one question and ask you this is just me experimenting we're not going to do enlightenment that's the one i've chosen to we're going to quickly install it and see how it works on Linux D. but there are no tutorials it's not on the installation plan or in the near future but i just want to uh, do something else in xfce so basically i have this screen this open on my other screen and you saw what i need to do well, let's first get out of this. So, nicer pseudo Pac-Man. Well, basically, let's do what I always do. No matter where you are, you need to get the right servers. The servers on Arch Linux. So, do a mirror or a mirror S or a mirror D or a mirror A. So, uh, there are four kinds of ways to get the fastest servers in. And that's, uh, you can see those in alias. They're all in there. And if you do an update, you check out the numbers behind it in column two. If that's fast enough for, for you, it's great for me. 44. Wow. So that's fast. So that's good. This is good. I won't change anything. And then you update your system. That's okay. Is everything up to date? Fine. And how is AUR? AUR is still up to date. Yes, great. And then we're off. Okay. Then we're going to install something. And it's called Enlightenment. Enlightenment. That's it. Only 200, 324 megabytes to install. That's nothing really for a desktop environment. I don't see Windows doing that. And then you need to boot up something, right? You need something to boot Enlightenment. So we're going to install Lightium. And if you say LightDM, you get our own personal Arch Linux LightDM packages, that one. And we're going to get the other one as well. Arch Linux, right? LightDM, there's another one. Ooh, type it correctly. Greeter, there's the settings as well. And if you do want to see a wallpaper when you are booting up, and we do kind of like that then you're going to need this one as well so that's what you need to have a nice boot up screen login screen display manager now you need to activate the display manager the system is not that smart that to analyze oh yeah you've installed it you're also probably gonna need it no it's not that smart so lightdm.service now it's up now you can reboot so when you reboot, it finds this LightDM and it says, oh, look, they have installed LightDM and LightDM kicks in and then everything goes like planned. This is our nice wallpaper. This is our login and there we go. And this is enlightenment. I know they're always screens, so let's go over them. Next, select one keyboard. Belgian is up there. Next, there is tiling. Mm. I rather like tiling idea to have this mobile and it says experimental. Okay, and computer is a standard and tiling is. Uh -huh. Windows key and space and arrows and left mouse buttons. We need to remember that. Okay, next. Let's go for the tiling bit. Or can't I? Okay, we're there. Select preferred size. I'm on a big screen. I'm gonna take this one. Window focus. Whenever the mouse enters a window. Okay. Move left button, resize middle, open menu right. Default key must be held to activate these bindings is alt okay as long as i know it's alt this nice button is here now 
setting everything up common service for network management support okay I think I need to do something here disable composite so the we've been making some videos about content so that's the compositor uh, so we're not going to disable anything we want the, the full inshallah check for available updates why not enable the taskbar and this is enlightenment again there is no tutorial immediate tutorial going to be made or anything we just try it out how did I get the menu I did ctrl T and I got something else so left click is this right click is nothing left click is a menu and we can navigate into it since I haven't installed anything this is the real okay shells this is the bare minimum minimum or or bare installation of en enlightenment this is it comes with the desktop environment here's the composite don't fade backlight enable fast composite effect disable okay apply let's see if that shows you anything oops what did i do all right what is this wallpapers Woo. a lot of wallpapers it seems grassy and then we apply and indeed something changed in the back here application themes with our dark version 2 version 3 okay let's kill some stuff oh yeah now 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 i i was wondering what's happening but it's this is the tiling bit right so i've only seen the desktop bit in the past so this is the tiling kind of uh, setting that's nice okay i can remove it eject okay home and that's why okay and ctrl t is not doing anything that's too bad there must be a thermal somewhere and normally we have termite in here somewhere since that's installed well the point was to figure out if Alkin XD works and we just took another desktop and it's up to you to decide whatever desktop you like and there are lots of more things out there and you can if you say oh yeah want to have a look at that it's as simple as, as what I did just now and then you have uh, the possibility to test it out don't know where my terminal is here it is termite there you are my friend so it's called enlightenment windows manager theme is at white height theme still so there you are the test is successful Arcanx D is uh, ready to be released all right cheers